All right, it's game two at Torch Bunker. Uh, this is uh, Brian playing on behalf of the Axis against uh, Will and Greg on the Allied side. Uh, we're coming in halfway into turn one, so uh, Axis have already taken uh, there go. Germany is uh, going all out on the Russian front, having bought land units. Russia responding accordingly. Japan launching out with a standard J1 attack, more or less. And we'll see what comes back on the rest of turn one. Alright, so as we begin round two, it has been an active first game, first round here. So the uh, the Brits have built a factory in Egypt to begin the game with, and the Italians said, run away, go in the other direction. Uh, accompanied with a Taranto raid that was uh, pretty successful. Italians do what they can to kind of carve out the boundary of the med there. Americans... Um, opting for a KJF strategy and not occupying much of the Atlantic while the Russians uh, gear up for what's coming. Over here on this side, the, you see the Americans all piled in Hawaii with two more carriers coming up behind them. Anzac opting to save all its money in anticipation of being able to spend 35 IPCs next turn, no small feat. Uh, the uh, Indians struck out pretty strong, taking up this unaccompanied transport, the cruiser, and kind of clearing out the Indian Ocean for themselves uh, as we be begin round two. Quick addendum here, I had to mention that the last turn of round one, uh, the French invaded Holland to take that leftover attack bomber with two land units and the French plane, and they took it, but at the cost of all three units, so... It's a nice little turn of events, but we'll see if uh, the Axis luck holds out on round two. Halfway now through turn two, and things have taken a left turn a bit. Um, Germany changing up its uh, focus, apparently anyway, and signaling a invasion, a naval invasion, rather than a land one now. Instead of uh, using all these guys on the Soviet border to pour in on G2, it built uh, eight additional transports and a couple land units prepositioned there in Scotland, um, reacting to uh, what was there in London and positioning it up north so it can go either direction. Russia recognizing that, building up a navy, three transports uh, in response and piling up guys along the border there with Germany. Germany completing the uh, acquisition of Greece while Japan uh, oh, I gotta land those strat bombers too. Um, pressing its advantage to the extent it has one against India, um, pressing into Shan, into Malaysia, and uh, strat bombing in Calcutta. Uh, unfortunately, uh, having its uh, okay. some of its naval units taken from it, wasn't able to complete the acquisition of the Money yeah. Islands this turn. Um, and. We'll see how prepared it is for the U.S. on round two. So it's the beginning of turn three. We uh, start here with Anzac and spent two turns worth of money building up a fairly sizable Navy and production capacity. We had uh, a good time playing two different turns in uh, the Pacific here. We went through an entire invasion of the uh, C-Zone 6 with all the Americans and thoroughly routing the Japanese, all six kamikazes missing, until we realized um, made an illegal move, we had to unwind it all. But they end up with the, the Caroline Islands, so that's not a bad consolation prize. And still quite a bit of American uh, metal floating around in the Pacific. Um, Cairo is uh, appropriately turtling while uh, whittling down the Japanese forces as well um, around the perimeter. China um, drawing its lines back up, reforming the line here pretty solidly too. Pretty uh, decent sized force in each one of those territories. Um, making that an indomitable great wall of Chinese dudes. Um, we've seen what Russia did, UK as you might have expected. Bought a bunch of infantry but also cleaned out Scotland. So. We'll see what Germany can do to those left on turn three. 
halfway through turn three, and is it? No, it's only three. Yeah, well, it seems like four. <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy has completed its turn to the west and uh, captured London with four tanks left over and uh, all its planes, except for those two that were shot down. Uh, built a sizable navy to uh, keep those transports nice and cozy. While the Russians, however, exploded in response. You see four bonus territories that they're getting. See, I was, I could have gone in and taken any one of the stacks that they had, only to put myself in a kill zone for the other stacks. So I thought, hey, I'll be conservative, pull back, have a nice big fatty stack there. Uh, that can take back anything he takes in Europe. Unfortunately, they played it really well going uh, entirely south with all of their stacks. Uh, this flanker here in Hungary means that I'm going to have a hard time getting these guys out of uh, Romania, I believe it is. So that's going to put Germany, um, if not on its heels, then certainly keep it occupied in Europe for uh, quite a while. Um, over in the Pacific front, uh, Japan's momentum is getting shaky. So yes, we've launched out with our transports on turn three and finally taken the money islands that I usually take on turn two. Um, of course, leaving all those transports naked in the process as a, as a sacrifice. Um, having been stuck here a bit out of position in Malaya, uh, I had to double back real quick and uh, pile up in the Philippines to hold off what is uh, turning out to be a sizable American force, both in the Carolines as well as Hawaii. You got two more carriers uh, back there. So Japan built up some mostly <coughs> submarines and land units. See, the other pesky thing that's been throwing me off here is something I got to learn how to counter, which is this big fat Chinese <coughs> stack that uh, has just been messing me up. I can't advance. I keep now pulling back uh, along the whole China front. This happens to me every time in, in China, throwing off my momentum. And now you have all the Russians in Korea, uh, no doubt holding a landing zone uh, that the Americans intend to exploit here on the rest of turn three. Uh, we reached the beginning of turn four. The UK has uh, sent its ghost ships up into Egypt to uh, consolidate up by Cairo, even though there's no money flowing in. Uh, French doing their thing. So the uh, Italians um, considered a few options, built up some dudes instead, beef up the homeland, and have finally uh, for the time being anyway, cleared up the Mediterranean, finally getting a bonus. U.S., uh, I think for the first time, building a significant fleet in the Atlantic to uh, respond in a yet-to-be-determined way to the sea line. Um, on this side of the board, the Chinese continue their inexorable march to the sea, uh, much like little General Sherman's, uh, pushing the Japanese back all the way to the ocean. Um, British are being convoyed and not making a heck of a lot of money, but realizing they're not going to get invaded anytime soon, so they're starting Which to means. branch back out again. While the uh, yes. Japanese, Americans, Anzac all There's stand off in a, uh, a very not using very old mm -hmm. western sort of way, everybody putting dollars. guns at everybody else, <laughs> uh, with blockers all up and down America, the Pacific. Good, what will break that. here on turn four? We're both wearing the same t-shirt. All right, halfway through turn four, if you can uh, hear me over the din. Um, it's been a good turn for the Axis, some good uh, good favor, certainly. Um, so we push back against the Soviet line, and uh, the Soviets push hard back, and um, really got diced pretty badly coming back into uh, Slovakia from Romania. Um, rolled definitely under average. Yeah. And yeah. had to pull out of that one you know, really uh, in order to save some forces there in Eastern Poland. Uh, those guys would be a um, Russia us, bought uh, a major uh, factory, 30 IPCs, to be placed in Romania because that position was so secure. But without being able to retake Slovakia, 
That major factory is now in Korea. Still, uh, still a place where it can cause some pain. Um, Germany, after debating uh, whether to take its fleet down, hold it here, bring it over here, um, was almost content to leave it in London, but ran some numbers decided they, they were just about to take Germany, uh, with Berlin, with the invaders there, and uh, so repositioned uh, in time to save Berlin from immediate capture. The Japanese, on the other hand, have broken through this line of blockers and defenders in this navy, choosing to throw its entire air force into the Carolines to uh, handily wipe out from the air the uh, American navy. So that changes the balance a little bit here, but the Japanese had to throw all their air to do it, and so now we've built another factory in Kwangtung, but we're fighting off the Chinese still here. We'll see what the Allies push back with when the rest of turn four. All right, so we've reached the beginning of turn five. The Allies have done their best to make a dent in uh, what's left of the Japanese lines. The Anzacs just made a nice little... Uh, Oh. Incursion got rid of all both battleships and transports, uh, as well as taking back Borneo. So taking back the the Money Island bonus and uh, getting rid of my last transport in the process. While at the same time, the Americans sent all their uh, remaining surface warships to clean out Sea Zone Six. But a mix of kamikazes and scrambles um, left me with a plane uh, before that pulled back. So. We've got some more Americans coming to beef that back up. There's going to be continued conflict in the Pacific, but uh, a lot less dense than it used to be. The Chinese pulled back a little bit, solidified their border there. While certainly still occupying a lot that Japan once did. UK, uh, Calcutta feeling a bit resurgent here, bringing its ships back from Africa. Um, with Cairo well in hand for the moment, Italy not able to do much other than beef up its territories which had previously been sorely undefended. The Americans meanwhile have positioned their fleet here in season 91 ready to do uh, whatever they can wherever they might choose to go. Let's see what Germany does here to start round five. Halfway now through turn five the next morning and Germany has made good on its threat to uh, expand back out after contracting in Europe, uh, and it went pretty well. We've uh, repulsed the Soviets from, uh, well, all of mainland uh, Germany, except that they popped a dude back there in Romania because it was left open, that's okay. We took out the stack that was in Eastern Poland, uh, took out these, and dumped enough guys into Novgorod to take and hold that. Russia choosing not to uh, attack back against the stack, but to strategically regroup here uh, along these factories and back here as well. Germany ready with its uh, navy for uh, whatever, hopefully, that the US might bring or the rest of the allies. Japan, on the other hand, um, also had to do some strategic regrouping, chose to make its builds down here and make a stand in Southeast Asia and uh, not build so much up here. In fact, we've abandoned Manchuria, headed down into China, choosing uh, not to wait for the inevitable death from this Russian stack. Um, so we'll see what America and the rest of the Allies bring on the rest of turn five. We've reached turn six. So on the last turn, the Anzac forces took it upon themselves to become the kings of convoy, yeah. um, owning the shipping in the Money Islands. Um, while the Indians have branched out, liberated Malaya, the sizable uh, force there, and the Anzac Air Force co-located there at Malaya. So. Uh, Anzac's going to be holding on to that bonus for the foreseeable future. China, content to keep their uh, stack up here, holding me at bay in Quang Tung, but uh, retaking some territory along with it. The U.S. Uh, moving a couple ships around, but uh, for the most part dedicating itself to the European theater this time around. 
for obvious reasons. Italy holding up there and uh, purchasing an air force, making sure, you know, start first things first with Rome. And here's what uh, the U.S. has been spending its money on the last two or three turns. That's an enormous force building up in C-Zone 91, biding its time till it can get wherever it's going. So we'll see how Germany reacts on turn six. Because he doesn't make a whole lot of money anyway. Halfway through turn six, we just finished Japan's turn. And with the Brits overextended here in Malaya and the Chinese out of position up here, the Japanese uh, jumped on an opportunity to swing all of their navy from Hong Kong around to Burma and uh, take those two territories. Strat bomb Calcutta into uh, total shutoff on 20 damage uh, in an attempt to press advantage towards Calcutta. Now, uh, it's 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 a tough road to hoe. There's serious trade-offs because I couldn't take back Borneo to get the Money Islands. I couldn't get rid of any of these three, four, five subs that convoyed me for seven IPCs, which is actually better than it could have been. Uh, spent my money building up a navy there to deal something with that next time, but uh, I'm bleeding in an attempt to uh, run the table to Calcutta. Now over here in Germany, um, at least it went a lot healthier, uh, expanded back out some uh, sustainably into Russia, built my stack there in Belarus, uh, while starting to build the navy here, yes. and uh, positioning my navy and as many uh, land units as the transports can carry there waiting in Western Germany for what the U.S. pulls on me on turn six. So we've reached the beginning of turn seven. We're actually still tidying up France's turn on turn six, but I'm watching into the video anyway. Um, UK saw the writing on the wall, so it bailed out of India except for one placeholder and spent its money on an airfield where the uh, Anzac forces have parked all their planes and Navy and consolidated everything. Thought that was actually a great move for the options uh, remaining. China filling in around here, doing what it can do to take care of territory, which at this point reaching the limits of what China can do. Uh, U.S. had a disastrous invasion, bad rolls again this time around, and good rolls for the Japanese in that first round of combat, which meant that uh, U.S. lost pretty much all the Air Force, actually all the Air Force they had there in Korea and the Pacific. Uh, a little stalemate there, but sacrificed all to keep that sub there and keep doing some convoys. Um, on this side of the board, really not much happened. The UK contemplated, or US rather, contemplated both a London invasion and a Med invasion. Ended up kind of sticking in C Zone 91, not uh, wanting to stick his neck out too far into a kill zone in either place, but uh, pre positioning some Air Force here in Malta. We're going to see what Germany does about it in the amount of time we have left to conduct a round seven. Right. The Americans rebuild the Pacific as fleets. Okay, so we've reached the end so of, high, of, high, of the end of the U.S. Like, turn no, in turn you, seven. Agree, We're calling it for saying, time, unfortunately. Picture, um, constraints He's make us end the game if here. I, I'm just saying. The so game here's the deal. We knew that was going to happen here at this hour. So we kind of ran through here fast. We we I wanted to finish Japan's turn so I could take Calcutta, which I did, and launched back with this navy. Navy, yeah, pressure gap. I think they're kill the Navy and the Air Force here really built up from Anzac. They're all much. built up. They've and taken Calcutta's money. Now, China was off board. now, U.S. wanted to complete its turn, so it did that, Axis launched all its Navy China up here, took London to as I wanted them to do, but down. the reason I wanted them to do it was because I had a Navy to take them back in nine transports, which China's they launched against and ended up destroying. So what we're doing right now very actively, all of us debating who's actually winning right now. And it's, a, it's quite an argument. Now, I'm shooting the video, so I get, the, I get to give my video. I get to give my views. And uh, you not surprised to think, I think the axe is right. Now, technically, if we were still playing this game, we knew that we were going to continue past this point. Um, I would have taken more time with Germany and left a blocker for that, maybe. And I don't think the U.S. would have lost. It was a fun game. And it's a tight game. It's a close game, guys. Oh, it was an amazing game. I had a ton of fun doing this. And 
we would have had a ton of fun for another day trying to plot <laughs> right. this one out. We would right? too. Got a navy here that's going to expand out. So our the the reasoning of of the group is that you know Axis has got some momentum. London's going to build up again um, if it stays this way, but not accomplish anything anytime soon. But guys, we always we always end these videos with some analysis of the game. So go ahead and share your views. You talking to us? Yeah. Any oh. Good. Well, Here, and take the camera if you want. Oh well, you can shoot. I, I don't. I'm I'm cheeky and stuff. Um, I like what uh, the Axis did with Russia. You pushed hard. The only thing that I see problem with the the German advance into Russia is there's a pressure gap right now. Granted, you've got a factory here, which is good. You can bring that up and start pushing, but you can only get three. So to bring any of your reserves up, if you fall short here. You're gonna, it, you gotta bring everything back up on the line. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough. The supply lines are broken. But right. you're already outmanned here now. And they, and, got, they have 38 And you got this right here. More. This, this can come this way. Yeah, but what is this? This is a, a couple of surface ships. There's no capital. No, but you got US and He's UK. Got, yeah, but by the time US there. and UK accomplish anything, I've got two turns to build up. Right. And you've got a crap ton of tanks. I'm just going to put it out there. Right, that's, that's, a yeah, that's a technical You're not going to be ton. able to do both. <laughs> yeah, but the tanks yeah. well, me, I don't have to do both. I don't have to own the, the Atlantic anymore. The tanks got anymore. at least three moves before they can get the Russian. You, you, you can't do this and stop that. Right, well, when I take your factory in Western Ukraine and in, in Ukraine, yeah, I can build out of those, like too. Like, it's going to be a bloody long fight it is. in Russia. It is. He's got to take Cairo he does. in the game, and he's not going to take Cairo. No. Who's I, I whose turn is it? I don't have to take Cairo. Uh, who's turning Moscow and Stalingrad? No, you have yeah, to have. You, have to you take won't have enough victory cities. You have to take. One I give one the X's credit. Give the X's credit. You guys do one more turn. They've got. They've got the uh, Stalingrad yeah, or the Leningrad <laughs> factory, which is nice. That gives them some momentum. This factory seems vulnerable, but you don't have a ton here. This factory I mean, makes it nice to two. put pressure on. Well, this yeah, is where, with that factory, and we come uh, through the Ukraine. I don't have to take. I don't have to take Moscow in order to take the Middle East. But just remember, and build up bonuses there. Just remember, right. Hitler failed when he went right. to Kiev. Yeah. <laughs> but I think in this game, going through here to get into the money and get into the oil is well worth it for Germany mm -hmm. right? or Italy. Right. And I think if you don't get here, I think this is where the Axis will fall short. Well, Axis. Axis will get there before the Allies do. I think so, but they got to be able to get there and hold. Because you've got pressure from here, mm -hmm. and you've got pressure from here. And that's what you want. And with Calcutta gone, I think you can start to roll up the Chinese. Although the Chinese, quote unquote, cover your ears are going to be a bitch to take because of where we're at. Well, and that's fine. I don't need to own China. I just need to get past it. Yeah, China. but they're such a pernicious little... Yeah, so here's the way I look at it. Here's the way I look at it. I wish they could play he has, one more turn. He has yeah, to get two victory cities there. That would do it. And it he's got to get it, one more here. More clear, but I don't see how. I want to now that this factory can come back to life, we have to get enough time power to take time to that back. And they can come this way and stop in front of the Yeah, you do it. You can't do that. Why don't we just do the Russia battle? Either, either, either London is going to spend money in Cairo. Why don't we just going to spend money in London? There's no Russian battle. There is never going to be a Russian battle anytime soon. Um, I think the bottom line is this is still a long game. It Absolutely. is. Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's a lot to be done. There, there, there's, there's so many. We wouldn't reach the end for another day. <laughs> you the could, question you is where, what that end is going to be. Yeah. The only thing is, is I got to tell you, what I like about, and this is another reason why I give an access an edge, and it's mostly because of Kill Japan. Kill. The, well, Kokoda, I've said that. I don't want to be a total broken record, but he's got a naval base down here, and Sydney is but more. No, that's is that's more, the Allies. Oh, for now. Well, you've got one bomber there, or one tactical, excuse me. Um, he's got, and this is another technical term, well, an Sydney ass might. pile of stuff there. Oh, yeah, Sydney's ready to go down, right? Well, well no, it's, again, it's, uh, that won't happen immediately, but eventually. He's got, he's got momentum here to be I able could, to project. I could win the game by taking Sydney, right? No, you have to take state. Sydney and Hawaii. Now, well, you lost so. the Philippines. And you got to get Manila. Okay. Well, okay, Philippines and Shanghai I've got to hold on to, too, and Hong yeah, Kong. Actually, yeah. you... So those, those things will be difficult. Yeah, th that slows me down there, too. So you get, and, but um, Americans got to pick which side of the board wants to work on. They, yeah. they got to, and if I was Americans, I'd work my butt off over here. And, I'd yeah. probably go seventy thirty. You which, know, which, which he has been lately. Yeah, but I mean, Americans aren't going to slow Japan down at all. It's just China and Anzac that you got to worry about now. Yeah. 
But my point is, is this is again why I give X a little bit of momentum, is they have this corner of the map, and that gives them projection power, and I like that, especially with this factory. China is going to be a hurdle to overcome. I mean, Anzac is a problem. It is a problem. They got right not now, much. Right now, with as much as we got in China, these two cities are going to be tough to get back. Well, what's Japan at right now? 60? The, okay, it'll be tough It'll to get, get four, soon, four. right? But I've got one, two... Okay, here comes Tristan. Soon here to comes. be three factories. Are we streaming live here? Or is to me, dot, one? dot, dot. So, I don't know, well, I like, I like Japan's positioning in the corner of the world. Uh, and I like the fact that the Pacific is... Let me see, we get this on video. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, Scott. No. So, I like the fact that Japan's got this corner of the world that kind of gives you a axis to pivot from. Here you've got comes. Sydney. You've got Sydney. Here it comes. This is young grasshopper weighing in on the state of the game. By G. Go ahead, Scott. You can keep talking. All right, all right. So people usually tell me to shut up, but uh, so I like the projection area here. You know, Australia's going to have the turtle. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got projection into the Carolines if you want. You don't need a lot to start to move back in here and pick up Manila. You've got to deal with China. It's huge. It's big. And even the Russians are in on the act over here. So and you, the Russians have Korea. And the Russians do and have Korea. Korea. In a big old factory in Korea. And, 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 a, and so, another... And, and by the way, build as much as you want there. Because that's yeah, right. less than you're building in Moscow. <laughs> yes. That's, that's true that's too. That's the biggest mistake. Yeah. 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 To me, uh -huh. if you must stop the game, uh -huh. now we get the little dots happening. He's <laughs> taking a sweet time with it. All right. I wouldn't, um, stop, I wouldn't stop the game here necessarily, but if you got it, you got it. Any further thoughts? And if you must declare a winner. Oh, come on. He's just dragging it out now. I like him. I like YG. I like the way he presents things. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll. He doesn't even know what's up. Hey, these, this is all the transports, <laughs> right? You're not even popping through oh. this blocker. <laughs> That's anytime soon. That's cool. So, I, 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 in the end, like the way Japan got it. These, so, you've got two full carriers yeah. that are protecting the Met, no. right? It's not going to... No, you're, you're not, not going to get into the Met anymore, which means Italy is about to expand. Is they are, and that's what I like here, too. And a couple builds, I mean, they'll take Gibraltar, for example, or somebody will, well, which means gonna I'm getting that bonus. You're going to have a... back in the fight. Yeah, the British are back in the fight. You're going to have a... the last four turns, The British are welcome back into the fight. He's got the shuck going here, and he can throw a lot at Italy. Sure. Okay, Italy, you could do the shuck in the southern France. Yep. Too, so yeah, I you could. I really you could. Well, I mean, it's, it's a long. You've got a, a good setup time. here. You can build in South Africa and march them in and nothing. Too. <laughs> but I mean, none of this is going to happen for three more turns. Nobody's getting back into Britain. Okay. You've got that secure. Grasshopper say anything yet? He's. It's coming. He oh, said, boy. "Okay, hey, this is what he said so far." To me, and that's one message. The next message is if you must okay, stop the game. Okay. Will you get any thoughts? That, that no. You like you said you like your and odds. The next one, I, I and like. If you I must like our odds. Winner, I, I like stop. our odds. It doesn't look like the allies did enough Axis win. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me get that. Let me get this on video. Oh, man, a thousand miles away is not even here. Sure. Yes. Yes. And the adjudication like from Young Grasshopper himself declares the Axis. What's, a, what's the advantage here? See, that's what I got. That's, and that was our vote yes, from our you local too. panel, too. Yep, you too. Right. So, you guys got to vote, but yep. you can do this one soon. Absolutely. Well, have a good trip home. All right. You got your bag? Right. Thanks, Brian. All right, Greg. Awesome. You guys got everything? Got Next time, Will and Greg and I are going to finish one out to the bitter end. Yeah. To be clear, this is a very, very tight game. No clear winner at this point. And boy, it was a lot of fun.